jerks. Uh, it's not been an easy time for me just lately. It's been a real struggle to be honest and uh, reminds I feel very insecure, I'm not sure where everything's going but anyway I've decided to uh, get started on the garden and uh, do something while much needed something was much needed to be done and that was to make the dog the place more dog um, secure so when I put plants in she doesn't dig them up so if you look here what I've, I've been a bit clever here we need access to get in here so what I've done is this um, staging I've actually fent I've actually uh, netted it up and when I need to go in there all I have to do is move that and then that gives me access. Now the netting goes all the way around. Then I've then I've um, gone around these beds here. Now I know it's not. Um, it's just to prevent her to go in. It's not. She could easily knock it down, probably, but. Uh, it's enough to prevent her to uh, climb in. So I've gone all the way around, I've gone round that bed, so these are all secure. Now if we have a quick look in here, you can see there's lots of activities, lots of seedlings. These have all been sprinkled with annuals, so I haven't really got a clue what some of them are, but I can see some familiar ones, very familiar ones. Um, well, I can see we've got some poppies and my lupins just look at the looping how that's grown we've actually got a flower coming on it that one's lovely there's a mixture of full grown and dwarf so so that's all in there um, this has been planted out and I've got a, I've put in a cut um, a mixture of calendulas asters marigolds uh, and some antirhinums I think it's that was what it was yeah and uh, I know it's early but I've got that many of them if the frost gets them I'll just put some more out so I'm not too fussed but if um, we don't get the severe frost then it's a bonus because I've got them in early right uh, I've also on this side here put uh, netting all the way around so that protects those as well now these have got loads of uh, seedlings growing as well. We've got a mix, they've got poppies, we've got lupins, we've got Californian poppies, we've got uh, we've got everything but you know growing in here, sweet williams and oh, all sorts. These were all things what were grown from seed and uh, perennials and uh, I'm quite chuffed with uh, how everything's going in here. Yeah. So that's it folks. Um I've just noticed a spot here I've got to be a bit careful of. And to leave that like that, it might just prevent her from uh going on there. Uh, so I've got to do maybe something there, but otherwise and obviously all that jungle there's gotta be sorted out, I've gotta go through that, but to be honest with you that Having it a bit wild kind of uh, makes it a bit more interesting. So I'm a bit reluctant to get started on it. But I suppose I ought to. So that's it folks. That's just a little update. You can see that the camellia is still flowering. It's gone for its best part. We've got uh, the apples. Some of those have set. You can see. What's there? We've got that's loaded. Nigel did a great job on that. Um, I don't know whether you can see in the plum tree, you might not be able to see it, but we've got lots of little plums forming on here. Um, so that's looking promising. The pear tree is absolutely loaded. Um, same as the ones at the allotments. The actual um, allotments fruit this year is going to is on target for probably being the best ever but you know we'll just have to see how things go. I did uh, go
go up yesterday I had to go up um, unfortunately there was break-ins and they um, what can I say they uh, forced the lock off the uh, framework of the of the hen house hen enclosure and they stole a chicken um, they didn't touch my shed but most of the other sheds were, were uh, broken into, tools were gone and other people had hens uh, stolen as well. The funny thing is that they actually um, closed it up, um, the hen house, they took the one and then they put something, it lent something against it so that the other three, other four couldn't get out. So that was very strange. Uh, anyway, what are you doing lady? Hey, we need to see whether this is going to be, this is going to prevent you from going on to digging holes everywhere. We don't mind if you do it on the pebbles. <laughs> but it'll be good because she'll be able to come in here and I won't need to watch her every minute. Like I do at the minute. She, um, she's had these beds numerous times. Dug a, you know, dug a hole in them and she dug a big hole over there. She's had the clematis up, that's why we've got no clematises this year because she, she had those up right to the roots. Okay, thanks for watching folks.